going on, y'all? It's your main man, Christophe, and we're back. We got a crazy show for you today. We got a double whammy. We got Trey Anthony, creative mind behind the kink of my hair, and former Toronto Mayor David Miller. Check it out. This is always my goal. I, I knew that I wanted my own TV show, that I wanted to be on television. I knew that. I didn't know how long it would take for it to happen. You know, it was like a 15 year dream realized um, for me, actualized for myself. And so it, it's been good. But like you said, it, it's taken on many roles for myself. I had to be an actor, writer, producer you know, and do everything to get this far. You know, I started out as a PA, I interned, volunteered, everything. So I know the business and so I'm able to, once I got my own show, be able to say, okay, this is what I want and this is how I want it to look. But you have to really learn from the bottom up and just work your way to the top for sure. You know, when I was maybe 13 or so, I started to get a clear idea of what I wanted to do. And I always believed in justice. Um, I lived in a neighborhood uh, after we emigrated to Canada in Ottawa where there were a lot of middle class kids and a lot of poor kids. And the poor kids all lived in government housing, you knew who they were. The middle class kids all lived in houses. My family was a bit different, it was just my mom and I, we lived in the apartments. So I was sort of, you know, neutral. And what I saw was the poor kids, if they got into trouble, the police got called. And the middle class rich kids, when they got into trouble, their parents got called. I always thought it was unjust and I always wanted to fix that injustice. So I was interested in politics because politics is about fixing injustices. I was interested in the law and I've been pretty lucky. You know, I went to school, became a lawyer. I didn't have the dream necessarily to be the mayor. That grew over time. I had the dream to try and help change society. How would you go about defining success? Um, I would say success is doing what you love to do. Um, doing it with integrity, being good to people, being good with your soul about the work that you do, and making a difference in the world. That, that's really what I would define as success. How do you define success being that you have achieved quite a bit? What's changed for me over time, you know, I, I used to think about success as having a decent job and making some money and you know having a career. Uh, and uh, at this point in my life, success is really about um, doing what I believe in and having the privilege of being able to, to do what I believe in. Um, and, you know, in my case as mayor, I can help change Toronto far for the better and make sure every everybody's part of this great city. And that's what I believe in. So to me, success is having the chance to do that, the opportunity to, to do that. Whatever your career, you, you know, you do, you should, what you really believe in, you know, maybe maybe you're got a real talent in music, or maybe you just like it. You know, there are all sorts of careers in music that uh, are really fulfilling, and I, I think you need to know in your soul, inside yourself, in one or two sentences, what do you really want to do. And sometimes it might be, you know, I really want to get a job that pays well so I can take care of my family. That's great. Uh, no shame in that at all, but you, you need to know it in your head and your heart and your soul and be at peace with it. You know, from Tommy Douglas, uh, he said, uh, have courage, my friends, it's not too late to make a better world. And that's an amazing statement. No matter who you are, you know, you can help make the world better and different for other people, not just yourself. Welcome back. Thank you, Mr. David Miller. Thank you, Mr. Trey Anthony, for your time. Great interview. Come back next Tuesday when we have the one and only Barbara Crow, Associate Dean of York University. Star Power, your main man, Christoph Steinau. Peace.